जय नमो 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 ऐसो पंच नमुकारो पनासनो हवै मंगलम ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमः 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 शिवाय 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 जय 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 ओके लास्ट टाइम वी डिसाइडेड वी गोन लुक इन टू how we are doing two shots or a full shot of separation okay so any okay any uh, everybody think about your experience about full shot of separation question by uh yes jay sachin and even jay sachin rajdi ji jay sachin puri pakan ji See, I want to uh, know, understand the normality. Uh, Dada ji says, "Come to normality." So, uh, what is uh, normality as per Dada ji? And uh, regarding to moksha pa uh, path, akram path, and how can we achieve it? So, this is the uh, uh, I've sent Kuli Nanan ji some uh, ap sutras. So, uh, because ap sutra also don't have contest, so please. Uh, give a brief uh, outlook so we can understand what is normality and how we practice it in form you have sent me is it yeah i oh. sent up put i can share also i i take uh, ha ah, yeah. you can just yeah. no why don't you share yeah just send Yes. Can you see? Yes. Ah. Huh. This uh, this notepad. Can you see this notepad? Ah. Huh. Yeah. So it is saying any anything done in abnormality, the Lord has called this vishe, worldly obsession. So there are uh, like this. I sent other also. Uh, the thoughts that arise because of depression uh, or elevation are all long wrong uh, thoughts. The thoughts that uh, arise in normality are correct. The path to attaining God is normality. There is moksha through normality. Normality is the backbone of the world. What is normality? The demarcation of like should not remain, and demarcation of dislike should also not remain. what is the essence of normality normality above is poison and below is below normal is poison come to the normality normality is the non self complex where where the self is in this the self 
normality is that takes all uh, one all uh, the way to the self normality it's itself the absolute element the param tattva of the world if you violate social uh, this one it will say violation of the laws of god of means mean a violation of the law of sarvatma oneness with all living beings which has brought all one uh, one's liberation to a halt everything depends on normality if there is a normality then even the slightest uh, uh, difficulty will be faced normality is in every matter is what i refer to as exactness so this is all the normality which uh, i found so so please give and i want to understand what dada ji is saying about normality and with regarding to moksha and how we can achieve it good uh <clears throat> you see uh, we can go through it one by one but uh, in general terms in general terms if i may say so uh, that uh, normality is the essence of life now the word normality is matter to relative you know normality in all the relative matters that means at the very gross level we can say normality in eating not to eat more not to eat less normality in sleeping drinking all those uh, all our normal functions you know so everything in normality is the essence not more not less that is the primary this thing you know some people are absolutely they do lot of tyag you know they give up things and some people are too much worldly possessive so both are two extremes so that is the gross understanding because ultimately one remains attached to worldly beings or in the relative matters when one is at either of the extreme that one comes in the center then he, he remains uh, normal now why that is very important because when you are normal then you have a tendency to come towards the soul or atma Uh, any any pudgal any pudgal how is what is the starting point of pudgal the starting point of pudgal is agnanta eh? agnanta or ignorance of who the one self is who one is now because of that ragdvesh shall take place an elaborate form of ragdvesh is prodman mar so in the because of agnanta ragdvesh take place and because of ragdvesh uh, all the worldly living birth three birth and all the starts now because ragdvesh inherently is abnormal if i have rag or attachment for something or some person for a person or something then obviously it's not normal but right? the moment i have rag for something i by default i will have dvesh for something else if i have rag for my son then obviously i'll have dvesh for someone who will not treat him properly yes if i have rag for my mobile phone then i will have dvesh for someone else who, who who does anything to that mobile or who talks wrongly about it right? or if someone has something better than me then i will have dvesh out of feelings of discomfort for that so if there is rag on one end dvesh is at the other end or if dvesh is at the end we can have rag at this end so rag dvesh inherently are abnormal that is why in uh, in simple terms in worldly language he says be normal so when i try to move from abnormality to normality say abnormality in eating food abnormality in anything anything earning money for that matter so when i move from that obviously i am coming to the center and when i come to the center i i am i'm sort of detached with all the worldly things neither attached neither Uh, abhorrence so i'm detached now that detachment will ultimately will lead me to the pure soul one cannot remain detached like that it'll it, it'll make me come to my pure soul or to put it in a different manner the as and as as and when for mahatma in the kram uh, this thing <laughs> in the kram path for mahatma we are uh, we have got the this thing pradeeti anubhav and laksha of the pure soul so the moment i am in the pure soul i am away from the pudgal 
and moment I'm away from the Pudgar, automatically the abnormalities of the Pudgar slowly, slowly, slowly diminish. They start reducing and I come towards the viewers. So, so when, when, one is, when one is in Ragdwesh, when one is in Ragdwesh, then it, one is not in the self. This is, I, I understood, is it right? Ah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't say it point blank like that. But the Pudgal part is not in the self. One can remain in the self. So one can, one can uh, see, one can be an observer of the abnormality of the Pudgal. One can still remain an observer of it. But moment one remain becomes an observer, the abnormality will gradually diminish or rapidly diminish and one automatically will come back to it. Because if I'm abnormal, I'm entangled with the Pudgal. And if I'm not entangled with the Pudgal, I'm in the self. And if I'm in the self, I can observe and automatically will start decaying. The abnormality will start. So here it says the violation of the laws of God means a violation no, no, of no, the one, laws one, of one, one, no. yeah, yeah, one, yeah, please, please, one minute, one minute, please. Now what I'm saying is, this was the general... Uh, general theme or general principle of the abnormality. Now we can go one by one and see how it correlates with the, the point that I was trying to make. No, because because if, time if, is let, 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 Let's take with what you're saying. Let's take this first, this thing, the one in the center. If you violate society laws, laws of society, of the government, of the public, then you will be defamed. The mind will become disturbed. One who violates the laws of nature, if normality is not maintained in eating, then such a person will fall ill. If there is a breach of nature, then nature will give one the fruit or effect of punishment of it. And violation of laws of God means violation of laws of Sarvatma, oneness with all living beings. It just brought one's liberation to a halt. Okay. The last sentence, what it says is, basically, violation of Sarvatma means Abhita or oneness with all beings. So, if I am not with oneness with everybody, that is having oneness with, having oneness, having oneness with any living being, any living being, it can be human, non-human, basically can only come through Atma. That is, if I am the pure soul, obviously I will see the pure soul in the other packing. And that is the only oneness. The packings are different. I may be a human being, the other may be an animal or a person also. So that, there will be a difference. So what are the laws of the God? Laws of... <laughs> And violation of the laws of God, violation of laws of laws of God is nothing but I am pure soul and everybody else is pure soul. Or basically, if you if I may if I may slightly elaborate, it is basically appreciating and recognizing the six eternal elements. In this world, is nothing but the six eternal elements and interplay of the six eternal elements, which has given rise to various life forms and of the six essentially essentially it is the coming together of two eternal elements the pudgal as well as the soul which has given rise to this uh, uh, i and uh, my and all the worldly lives the life cycles so, so that, that is vision the, is not there then vision is not there, then the oneness with the other living beings is not there. That is, that is, Why it's uh, not possible. That Why is it's not, a... yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not possible at the experience level, but maybe at the theoretical level one can have, you know, a person who is slightly more advanced spiritually, at an understanding level, he can have that I am also soul, others are also soul. So to that extent, he can get little benefit of it. Of oneness. And then, then he cannot go. Uh, he cannot be liberated from the self because uh, he is. Uh, he has uh, the differences. Uh, he, has, he is experiencing differences between himself and others. And uh, huh. as long as we experience differences, obviously we cannot be anchored in our soul. Mm. Okay. And normality in every matter is what I reflect refer to as exactness. Huh. Exactness, no? because normality in every matter is exactness. Mm. Because yeah, you see, uh, no, uh, it's, uh, you understand, no? you can, very easy to understand, based on the context with which I was saying. What, what, what is the meaning of exactness actually? Exactness means what is what the thing is in absolute terms. In absolute terms. Exactly what am I? Who am I? I am the pure soul. 
and what is this body body is just a neighbor uh, uh, this thing a mix of all parmanos based on what i have charged in the press word so th that is exactness that is the absolute truth exactness means the i the absolute truth so normality in every matter is what i refer to exactness i don't understand ha ah, so so uh, what uh, exactness that means I am the pure soul. The body is different. The everybody is different. So moment I am anchored in my pure soul, I, it, the the pudgal will automatically come to normality. If not immediately, over a period of time, gradually. Period of time. I, yeah. So that... for mahatmas like us, for mahatmas like us, it is a decaying matter because we have received this self awareness of the soul by the grace of the gnani. The pudgal part is now decaying and and it is coming towards normality. All of us are experiencing that. Now, all of us are uh, all over for all matmas. The kashais are reducing. The redu reduction of kashais, krodh man maya lok itself is a sign of re returning to normality. The pudgal becomes pure. Pure becomes normal. Normal means liberated. Hmm. Ah, so for us, it, it is a matter of time. Whereas in the kramik mar, it, 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 it's a step by step process <laughs> over various spread out over various births. The other other ones with which the worldly normality and there's a one the worldly normality and the one with respect to the uh, spiritual uh, with with respect to the moksha. I wanted to uh, understand uh, which you explained uh, with respect to the spiritual. The worldly I understand a little bit that because uh, everything needs uh, balance. Uh, that is the normality. Otherwise, it will not function properly. That is what I understand. I, I have uh, uh, that in 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 short. If I sum summarize, is it correct, right? Mm hmm. Yes. Yes. Because then you see abnormality even in worldly life will will make one remain stuck to the pudgal. Will not bring him back to soul. No. Even even the worldly life will not function properly. Yes. Even the worldly life will not function properly. True. 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 Yeah. That is true. What I mean. Yes, true, true, true. This I got. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Jai Sachin. Yes. Sipa Gandhi. Jai Sachin Anand. If I just brief it out, most of it is covered. But as Dada has said, that when my mind, speech, and body hurt others, I'm not normal. If I desire uh, any perishable thing in this world, I'm, I will not be normal. If I break societal law in the sense, if I'm in India, I have to follow the land law of India. If I'm in America, I have to follow laws of America. So if I break that, then I'm, I'm not normal. Then we have laws of nature in the sense what a good example is given. Normality in eating, sleeping, uh, all those matter, which is our daily, day-to-day -day routine, you can say, if it is not normal, then you fall sick, so which is not normal. And finally, it is said that if you don't follow law of God, that is, if you don't experience oneness with everyone, then you are not normal. Apart from that, the way Dada has given the nine diamonds, if we are not uh, having all those qualities which are given in nine diamonds, we are not normal. And if you further say, then the definition of health, which is given by WHO or any anywhere where it is given, but if it is to be seen nicely and consolidated understanding, then free from physical pain, any kind of physical pain, free from physical pain is normality. Then, free from all kind of passion, that is anger, pride, possessiveness, and greed, likes and dislikes, that is there. And finally, which is related to spiritual matter, free from self selfishness. That is, you experience oneness with all, so you're not selfish. So, with all this vast area uh, which encompasses definition of normality, which can be achieved easily through self-realization. Once you realize, once the third eye of Shiva, that is our 
third eye opens, which is eye of knowledge, then with that, having known the knower, everything will get known and we will come to know every bit of abnormality which is there in our being, that is relative self, and we will make our relative perfect, normal, healthy. So it is nicely covered. So I believe all these examples, what these Atta Sutras are uh, narrated, uh, where Dada has revealed the definition or exp uh, expanse or who would we call as normal is just wonderful. Eshachidana. Yeah, he said she's all right. Okay, Matmao, anybody who wants to share how we do push out for separation? There are many, many ways of doing separation, Puliranji. Maybe you want to dwell on some Deepakaranji, then maybe we'll come back. Okay, Deepakaranji. Hey, Sachidanan, the best way to experience separation is being separate. We are made separate by realizing our true self as pure soul, distinctly separate from the body self, mind, speech and body bundle. So the evident experience of separation is you get to know, understand and correct all the abnormalities, deformities, slackness, weaknesses you find in your mind speech body. And at the same time, you will see all others absolutely innocent. So all your focus will be on your relative self or body self. And you will not skip even smallest mistake. That will be the extreme experience of separateness. Whereas you see all these mistakes, smallest mistakes, and you will not fail to correct them also. And that will definitely lead us to normality and that normality is perfection. That is where our pure soul experience reaches its absoluteness perfectness, which would help us liberate. Jai Sachi Dhanan. Mm, it was you're right. Moment you are separate, you can observe file number one better. Or if you observe file number one better, you are separate. And uh, uh, moment you're separate, you can obviously see all the shortcomings and even the good things. Uh, in addition, we can also see the situation file number one is put in. The circumstances surrounding file number one. He may want to do something, but it may not take place. The required uh, other missing factors, evidences may be missing, you know. So, we can... Uh, the Vivastit Shakti at play, that Vivastit Shakti is at play, we can start realizing more, uh, more properly or with greater awareness. That I want to do something, but things are not falling in place because there was it, some evidences are missing, and that's how we can see that the other person as a non doer, although he said, as he said, is a innocent, we can also see him as the non doer. If it's a person or if it's a situation or some things, then you can see that uh, some of the elements are not playing their part, or if things work our way in worldly matters, if things work our way, you want to organize some event or you want to go somewhere or want to do something and you're able to do it, then you can understand that favorable circumstances did part allow you to do it. So, God Agna also en enhanced an enhanced awareness of the third Agna and enhanced awareness of the Shakti at play uh, will also come, you know, we'll be aware of it, we'll be able to observe it in the uh, in the separate and smart and uh, other thing that will happen is 
when that happens, when that happens, that uh, the is the doer, uh, the impact on us will also reduce. If I am in the pure soul awareness, if I am in the state of enhanced state of separateness by way of experience or by way of jagrati, then others' behaviors will have minimum impact or no impact. In the sense, I can see it's uh, impacting file number one. And I can observe file number one. It's not happening to me. He did not speak by rudely to me. He spoke to file number one rudely. Like it. You know? So, the impact of other behaviors on the ego will either reduce or it will be immediately squared up with the right gnar. Even there's an impact. No, no, he's not the doer. Your, it was your hisab, your karmic account, which got cleared. You know? So the gnan will, awareness will pop up immediately. In enhanced separateness, we'll be able to see the impact of others will be minimized. Or we can observe that this impact is taking place on him. It's taking place on file number two. So that way, it's happening with me. That is not with me, it's with file number one. That awareness will be there and then that will uh, have a very positive impact in the sense of that you are at uh, bliss. You are experiencing bliss because it's happening to file number one and I'm an observer of the file number. So it will reduce all the stress and strains because all expectations diminish. He should do this, I should do this, this should happen. All that goes away. Just observe the way that play. After all, the initial efforts have been taken care of or done. So, that is uh, the thing that comes to my mind. Okay. Alucha, man. Yes. Um... Jai Satchidanand Purinanandi, Jai Satchidanand Dikudanandi, Jai Satchidanand Mahatma. Yeah, you know, over the last so many months, I do see um, greater awareness of um, where I want to go. And I also notice the, you know, we were talking about this Vyavastit Sakti and what happens when uh, I say that this is happening to file number one, this is not uh, real Lata. When I do that, what happens is automatically, uh, I don't know, I, I don't know whether um, uh, that's the way it happens to me at least. Uh, see, the, there are uh, no problems, there are no confrontations. It looks like the people whom I deal with um, are kinder, nicer, and uh, or maybe even if something does not go well, um, uh, Pile is able to accept it. Whatever happens, accept it. I mean, as uh, uh, there is an increased awareness of uh, the self. I mean, that is something um, I do experience. I have to say that. Danji? Uh, it's very good. Perfect. That is exactly what you have to express. The moment you express yourself, so you will be more equanimous. You will be more, you know, balanced. And as a result, the it will have a, a fallout on the others. As you said, behaviors of others also were more appropriate or more soothing, if you may say so. So that is a fallout because we ourselves are not throwing out any negative vibrations. I'm not throwing out any right. negative. You know, we Absolutely, are... right. Ah, ah. Absolutely right. I mean, when you don't show negative vibrations, when you don't uh, sit on judgment, uh, automatically the reactions are uh, positive. Right. So now we have, in the process, in this process, we have discovered... Uh, one of the factors of why people don't talk properly or behave properly. True. Because we are judgmental and are passing out True. negative vibrations, 
Uh, so those reach them and then they are disturbed. And when they are disturbed, obviously their reaction or behaviors with us will be of a disturbed nature. But if I am sending out loving, soothing and positive vibrations, that is positive. At least one thing is not sending negative vibrations and one is sending positive soothing vibrations. The two different aspects. So at least first type thing you stop the negativity is half the problem is solved. But in that we are at calm and peace internally. You know, when I'm not thinking Absolutely. negative, somebody, he is like that or she is like that. If I'm not judgmental, I'm at peace first. Thing. And yeah. proactively, so so if the other person is not hurt or disturbed, no negative has gone out. Now, one step ahead, I'm saying is that if I am giving out positive vibes, he's a good person, let there be oneness with he or she. Oneness is, of course, at a soul level, but the intent is once you have that intention, so or may the welfare of the other person take place. So I'm sending out positive vibes. Now, positive vibes will have a positive effect on the person. He or she will have a good feelings for us, which will, which will lead to the other person behaving in a more peaceful manner with us, a soothing manner with us, soothing to us. <laughs> we feel good. Very good. So basically, you know what, this is the jugglery of file number one's mind and intellect. <laughs> Where earlier in, in, in ignorance state, we were uh, in the Ragdvesha, in earlier ignorance state, when we were not realizing ourselves, we were in the Ragdvesh mode, file number was Ragdvesh mode, and we were also entangled, and all the Ragdvesh was going out, positive and negative vibes were going out. Now that we are come in the... Uh, uh, in the realized state that I am the pure soul and file number one, the wrong things of file number, we are catching them in the bud and saying, no, no, I'm, I'm not Thank agreeable you. to this. I'm not agreeable to this. So, so that the discharge part, see, Rakesh will take place because that is part of discharge. So the discharge part, we are not getting entangled into it and so we are withdrawing from it. And when you're withdrawing from it, it decays very fast. Right. And, exactly. and so negativity does not go out. So that does not have, it's a, so that's good. And then, Proactively, if we say positive vibes, then it will affect him positively and it will have the same. So, the the summary of the point I'm trying to drive is that with the help of this Dada's Gnan, with the help of the right understanding that we are getting through this Dada's Gnan, that everybody is innocent, everybody is pure soul, and he or she is only a nimit or instrument for executing mass and all that. So, with that, with this piece of information, this knowledge, uh, our intellect is now working in the right direction. It is not oh. seeing other as the or it is seeing as a doer, or other as the innocent. The perspective of viewing things and people has changed. And so okay. and, and the Buddha then operating or the final number operating and the right understanding gives right results. Sending Thank vibrations you. of Buddha, it is nothing to do with Atma. If I am in the soul, then I only say Shuddhatma, that's all. I only see versus Shakti, that's all. Or maximum, if I do interact, I will say file and let me do Sambhava Nikal. Economically settled, that's all. Mm -hmm. But this is, the mind, uh, the discharge mind is so full of, you know, or, or karmas. It won't sit still like that. No negative will start. So then you have to counterbalance with positivity <laughs> to, mm -hmm. to, 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 to nullify the negativity. May the good of the other take place. May the he enlightened. May his, you know, that will stop our negativity, make ourselves that have peace and that is file number one. We miss file number one and the positive on the file number one or file opposite side, file number three, four, whatever, two, three, four. So it's interplay of two purgals, interplay of relative matters, which makes it all balance, balance out the negativity to positivity so that we remain in <laughs> directly oh. right that because we have compressed so many karmas. So, if the, the effect of the karmas is nullified with the wrong understanding, with the right understanding. Wrong understanding, he's a right understanding, no, he's innocent. He is very idiot, no, no, may the good will take place. I'm just balancing the two. Mm -hmm. Negative, positivity with the negative. So, my pudgal is getting balanced. The other pudgal or opposite pudgal or file number file is also getting balanced. And that relaxation in my pudgal, you know, ah, we talk properly. I am so elevated, I am so peaceful. Now. Then I can remain very lazy in the pure soul. <laughs> yeah. so it's one way of wrong going from negative Buddha, positive Buddha and remaining in anchoring in soul. 
it's one way. There are many n number ways. So I, I just try to amplify technically the experience that you shared that I'm realizing myself and people are talking nicely to me. I'm seeing an so what was the mechanics that works behind that is what I was trying to share. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jay Satchi. Jay Satchi Danan, you know, with this realization of ourself, we have clearly identified relative and the real. True. I am not very sure about the exact translation of Yavhar as relative and mm. Nishchay as well. But, you know, the, the word Vyavhar itself deflects or indicates whatever was caused gets affected out. Mm -hmm. Whatever in the form of seed gets resulted out as fruit. And we see those things within our own body self. And we perceive the body self as Vyavhar. And yeah. way we see others with two viewpoints as relative, I will say Vyavhar and Nishchai. And so nicely as Dada has said, Vyavhar means if you are standing in front of the mirror, whatever you do outside, the mirror reflects what you do outside. You have no problem understanding this and you have no complaint why the mirror is showing like this. But mm. when it our real life, worldly life, we come across the same Vyavhar in its absolute truth as, as fact. Mm. But not able to understand because of the intellect which always intervenes and misguides us. Mm. But is also Vyavhar in the sense it is your reflection. That is, Royar means Lata's reflection. Mm -hmm. And your soul as I am, I perceive the reflection, perceive the, the object and the reflection both. So I have no problem. And with that understanding, I remain cool because I, as I am pure soul, got separated from Latha. And Latha mm -hmm. is what we have. So with this understanding, when we are, that is, if Latha is not sending any vibration, then definitely she is not going to receive. And in spite of her not sending any negativities, but still if, it, if she receives, then you come to know, Latha will not say, Latha's intellect will say, this is wrong. I haven't done anything wrong. Because uh, the perception, perceptive power of intellect is limited. It mm. sees what is happening. It cannot anticipate or see what had caused this, which only knowledge that is pure soul vision or pure soul perception can see, understand and acknowledge it. So with this understanding, we are able to understand our body self that is Vyavhar better, perfectly, and we are also able to handle situation, disturbing situation as part of past karma results. So mm -hmm. this is a wonderful part and you are doing great. Continue doing it. And I believe this will reveal and unfold several facts naturally about nature, about Vyavhar as such. The finality is we know that Nishya is one because pure soul in its quality is identical everywhere. In mm. the same quality wise, quality wise, Vyavhar is one. It's not different. Mm -hmm. But because of the manifestation which is misleading, viewed differently by our intellect, analyzed differently by our intellect, by our five senses which are under karmic pressure that is ignorant projection. Mm -hmm. That why the same thing is viewed differently by different people. But with the pure soul vision that is third eye vision, we will be able to see everything as one. 
and that will be the finality of our experience where we experience oneness with all, which mm -hmm. uh, Gita brought out in that normality of the Sutra. Mm -hmm. Great. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, man. Jai Satchitanand Purinandji, Jai Satchitanand Pitrakanandji, Jai Satchitanand Mahatmas. This is again, I'm looking at a saying uh, which came in WhatsApp, uh, Dada's saying. He said, uh, it is not possible to know who I am by doing something. For doing anything, ego is required. And where there is ego, who I am cannot be known. Hmm. Okay, Deepakaji. Ah, so, hmm. so nicely revealed and explained by Dada Bhagwan that because the activity part and the knowledge part both are separate, an activity by its very inherent nature is a result of egoistic projection. So it is ego which is making it happen with other circumstances favorable. So that activity part or the ego part or ignorance cannot know who am I, which is totally different and very nicely said. So here is what Dada said, if you want to know who you are, then look out for someone who has known who he is. And it is only he who can make you realize who you are. And you know the best part, uh, word meaning of Atma is that who you are. Hmm. So we have Atma and I, I don't know how would you say or elaborate soul. I don't know. But anyway, but that Atma, the Sanskrit meaning of Atma is that's who you are. And they say, know yourself. That's who you are. Self is Atma. And we know Atma is one which has the knowing power. And the body has doing power. So anything you do, probably you will become eligible to know yourself. But finally you will come to know yourself only from one who has realized itself and has power to open that treasure of your knowledge within you and make you realize who you are. So that's perfect, wonderful. Jai Satchitana. Yes, you see, it's very simple. For doing anything, ego is required and where there is ego, who I cannot know. Now, if you go into a little, little, little depth of it, you know, what is ego? Ego is nothing but, but the wrong belief. Na? What is ego? Is just a wrong belief. The belief that I am so and so. I am the name bearer. I am Suresh. So, the, the belief that I am the Sura, that belief is called ego. Really speaking, I am the pure soul. Right? I am the pure soul. But because of circumstantial evidence, when the matter and soul... Two eternal elements, matter and soul, come close to this. This third element of I is generated, and that believes that I am so and so. I am the matter, or I am the name bearer. You know, I am Suresh. Now, I am Suresh. That belief itself is called ego. Okay. So, I am Suresh. Obviously, I cannot know I am pure soul. Yes. yes. So, where I, where that I am is there, where that ego is there, it cannot know. And, oh, and, and the second thing what happened was from absolutely elemental Tattva point of view. I am Suresh and I am the doer. I did this. You know, I I am so and so and I am the doer. That Karta is, part also is there no, by default in ignorance state. I did this, I did that, you know, I am the doer. And he did to me like this. Did like, so I am also the doer, I am also the sufferer. So all that is the inter, all that is happening at the ego level, you know, because I am Suresh. So I did this, I am the doer. And he did this to me. <laughs> so I am the sufferer also. He spoke badly to me. 
So I am the doer and I am the sufferer. So as long as all that is there, I am doing something, you know, good or bad, then I am the doer. I am doer, that means I am in the ego state. Yes, yes. yes. So it is not possible to know who am I by doing something. Something in the sense, job karo, tap karo. I, I did job, I did tap, I did penance, I did fasting, I did this, I did that, you see. So by doing something means doing anything, either relative matter or the real matter, means towards this religion or spiritual kind. Yes. As long as the doership is there, you know, doership is there, that means that is a doer. The doer means it's a wrong belief, no? Because the pure soul itself cannot do anything. Yes, yes. Yes. And uh, when the ego is at play in any yeah, when, the purushat purushat comes, when you do the purushat and when you are uh, trying to separate. My sister told me this. My sister, my sister told me this recipe. Right. right. So the ego is always there. As long as ego is there, then you are not in the this thing, you know. Um, the I state. The I the soul state. Yes. And uh, I was thinking uh, This is what this sutra is trying to say. Yeah. Basically, basically, it is for non. And basically, it's for a, a lip, a, a moksha. That if you want to realize yourself by doing nothing, you cannot realize by yourself. You are able to realize yourself only by a person who is who has realized his own self. Okay, okay. Like if you want to, if you are ill and want to cure, then you have to go to a doctor. Or if you want to make ornaments, you have to go to the goldsmith. Similarly, if you want to realize yourself, you have to go to a person who has realized his own self or a gnani purush. To realize the self, you have to go to a self realized person, a gnani purush. But if you try to do it, then you cannot realize it yourself directly. You will need a guide who will tell you what to do, either Kramik Mark or the Akram Mark, both ways. And um, what about the, 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 when we do the Purushat, when some, that is uh, like you're doing the Kirtan or everything, the Japa or whatever. And uh, again, will that uh, result in a spiritual ego? Will that again uh, say that I am doing it, I am praying? Uh, because, or do we have to observe the separateness at every stage? No, if you are talking of Mahatmas, we are separate. Only that awareness of separateness has to be brought. That's all. That whatever activity is being done, whether related to our Gnan or Agnas, that is being done by file number one. Okay. For us, it, for us this is the thing that matters. Now I understand, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is Jidana. You know, at times, if someone is gets involved in uh, meditation, self-observation, and with great elaboration, if he or she start doing it, uh, an ego can come up, yes, popping up, and maybe claiming that you know, I do all this meditation and I do this and that. You guys are not doing anything. So that awareness is also necessary mm. that apparently it is seen as if you are doing something, but actually you are using the pure soul light to perceive your own shortcomings. Okay. So this meditation is not an activity. Once you are self-realized, it is activity you are... Uh, Focusing the pure soul perception power to identify, correct, identify, acknowledge, and correct your mistakes okay. so that you purify yourself. Okay. And, and also, when other circumstances are favorable, that you are able to do, not otherwise. Yes. So, okay. purely, purely, it is use of our pure soul power to correct our vyavhar. Okay. Do I have time for another question? Yes, yeah, go ahead. Huh? It is not a uh, before that. Uh, Puriyanji wants to make a comment, and then you can have a question. Puriyanji, uh, uh, very quickly. Uh, now, since you talked uh, uh, for us, what does it mean? We as Mahatmas, where do we this thing? One little simple example. At times, we are able to do vidhi very nicely with full focus and attention. At times, we don't express. Yes. So that itself is there, right? that doer is separate and that I could do with you properly, I could not do with properly is the observer. Yes, it's there. The circumstances also play a part. But yes. that's why I know. So the doer and separate are separate. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. Thank okay, good. Okay, shall I have it?
Uh, this is again the first May saying uh, from the calendar. It said, as much as you clash with someone, their parmanus will ingress within you. As a result, mm -hmm. both of you will suffer. Uh, is this the same thing that uh, 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 Pulinananji was talking about, that uh, positive Pudgals and the negative Pudgals, the positive vibrations? Ah, it, it does work. It's the same thing. As much as you clash with someone, their permanent will ingress within you. But basically, it's very simple. Na? When you clash with someone, I'm right, you are not right. Ah. And then, and there's a clash. Then, then say, oh, after the clash is over, in, in our mind, it will go on. He's like that. She's like that. She doesn't understand. She's always played. She's adamant. She's un oh. unfair, etc., etc. So you'll be thinking so much of the other person's negative oh. attitudes. So all the negative it will get it will come within you. So it's the same thing that you're mentioning earlier. Ah, so we, so, so, so we are unnecessary, you know, in a way we are doing nididhyasan of the negative qualities of the other person. Mm. So all that comes into us then. The Parmanus will come. Okay. Ah. Okay, got so it. So then both suffer, right? Nah? Other persons will also suffer. Ah, yeah. Both of us will suffer, definitely. definitely. Because you see, when I suffer, she or she like that, so I'll have negative vibrations for the other person. I will think negatively. So again, those negativity will go to the other person. Yes. So they, they will also suffer. Yes. So like that. Okay. Uh, yeah. You know, clash means it's a uh, non-adherence that you don't accept the other person and there is a verbal wrangle. So oh. if you are telling someone, then after a while you will experience disturbance within your own self. Yes. At the same time, if someone has told you something in a harsh way, then again you will have this feeling of this, yeah, that disturbance will be there. So, whether it goes out from here or it is received from outside, both ways you start feeling disturbed. So, the best way be watchful, be vigilant. And whenever such a thing come up, then it is a matter of correction, forgiveness, and we must fix that rightly. Make it normality. Yeah. Yes, bring it to normality. Perfect. Thank you. Jai Satchidana. Jai Satchidana. Okay. Jai Satchidana, we are almost coming to the end. Any thoughts for today? It's going on well, you know, based on this sutras and all, pertinent sutras related to the separateness or pertinent sutras relating to our uh, Purshad. But if not experience, even based on the sutras, we can trigger some discussions which will help us advance. That's what I feel. Okay. You know, the, the three uh, statements what Dada had given for separation, that I am separate, uh, body cell Deepak Anand is separate I am real body cell Deepak Anand is relative and what is the third one permanent and temporary <coughs> relative I am, I am permanent and body cell Deepak Anand is temporary even contemplating on these three uh, sentences what Dada has given he, that was the last year, 1987, and he had sent this message uh, to all Mahatmas. And this, this had been working out very well. Even we are using this same thing with the kids also, and it is helping very well. So I believe even contemplating on these three uh, sentences will also help us remain separate, understand, and find our mistake and correct ourselves to become normal. Jai Satchidana. Okay, sounds good. So uh, next Tuesday, we will not have the uh, satsang and we'll, we'll come the following week. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Shibi, Shibi, we are all in Shibi. Ah, Shibi, ah, yes, 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 yeah, fine. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, Please. one thing uh, I don't know, Aruna I mean, cannot talk because she always lost the voice, but you know, one of the things. Uh, in our before our Vidhi sessions, we had done just cons consciously keep on saying relative, relative when you see something, when you see the other person or something. And you know, for, we did it for a while and it really helped 
our consciousness of looking into that and our behavior, etc., really changed. So that was our experience, uh, just reciting every all the time, relative, real, relative, real, relative, real, relative, you know, and just as a conscious purushat part of it. So uh, that was a good experience, and everybody had a good uh, separation for that one, just for the benefit of people. Yeah. You know, I would like to suggest really when I came to know about the real actual meaning of Yavahar, I believe instead of using relative, yes, it's good, but certain times, you know, these words are so effective and precise. Uh, okay, the translation is relative, but I really have to investigate about the meaning of relative, but the rel meaning of Yavahar is fantastic. Yavahar itself says and if you see this is Vyavar and inside is Nietzsche, it will be great. So using this word Vyavar itself means that whatever was caused gets affected out. I don't know, relative, does it mean relative? I believe it is changing with respect to it means. But still I need to investigate the word relative. But the better one would be see Vyavar and Nietzsche, it will be more effective. Uh, it will be more uh, experiential because it will make us experience of what is Vyavar and what is Nietzsche precisely. Yeah, one experience, you know, we uh, we had during that time was when you say real, uh, real to real, real, because then you have a tendency to see Sudhatma and other persons or, or plants and trees and everything. So that really helped us. So, we can try this. Absolutely, but you know that this word Vyavar and Nischa itself means a lot, I'm saying. That's true. I'm not saying, I'm not arguing that, but uh, at the same time, if you try to contemplate and use these words, although they are Sanskrit word or Gujarati word, but it will be more effective because it hits its meaning. Yeah, I think you're right because now when we did relative and now this one, if we start using, we'll try it and see what happens. Yeah. Aruna, I mean, please take a note on that. We'll try that yeah, because think, you are right because there's a higher higher version of uh, awareness, I think. Yes, yes, yes. Very much, very much. Okay, yes, yes. So, sounds good. Deepak, you please use three months, everybody, please follow. Namo Vitra Gai. Namo Vitra Gai. Namo Vitra Namo Siddhanam. Namo Siddhanam. Ayariyanam. Namo Ayariyanam. Namo Vazayanam. Namo Vazayanam. Namo Loe Sava Sahunam. Namo Loe Sava Sahunam. Eso Panchanamukkaro. Eso Panchanamukkaro. Vapavapanasano. Vapavapanasano. Mangalanam chasavvesing. Mangalanam chasavvesing. Padamam havai mangalam. Padamam havai mangalam. Om namo bhagvati vasudevai. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevai Namah Shivai Om Namah Shivai Jai Sachidana Jai Sachidana Jai Sachidana Jai Sachidana Jai Sachidana